Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on Feed the Beast Direwolf's 20 pack. This is 1.12 edition. Uh, oh, I need you guys back. So, today we are going to look at Magma Crucibles. Now, uh, your first assumption here on Magma Crucibles is to build them. And then set up a pump in the nether and just pump lava. And you have lava pump into an ender tank and the ender tank feeding straight into your magma. Uh, magma magmatic dynamo, but dynamos here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the recipe. Mag. Mat, there we go. And if we hit R here, you see two Envar gears, resonating transmission coil, and some iron. And then red thing. And these are super cheap to make. All right, super cheap. Now, once we do that, you put these in here. Now, there is a specialization on here, so I'm going to suggest that if you do choose magma crystals as your starting power, um, you can run it off of lava. You can. All right, but. We don't want to do that. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. You have maxed out. Let's close you off here. Yeah. No. But you know what? We'll just pick you up. <laughs> here we go. All right. And boom, gone. Okay. So I have these guys feeding into this. Let's just get rid of both of you guys. All right. Down, down, and you. What is your maximum? Fifty thousand. Uh, let's. Uh, let's go to books. Do something here real quick. I'm gonna show you guys this. So this is the enchantment of holding. And if you put this in here, and you get one of these, all right. Now this holds five million. This holds 150 million. So you definitely want to enchant your uh, your your guys here. So okay, so then we got this up and running. Okay, now you can run this off. Now uh, in any dynamo here, if we click here, it shows you everything that you run off of it under recipes. So if you do that in a dynamo, you can run this off of more. Than just lava <laughs> all right now lava will give you the most in general but there's this right here blazing promethium now we can make this so you're going to need invar anyway so i suggest making a magmatic uh, i'm sorry a magma crucible here and this one's fully upgraded to resonate you'll probably only have access to uh reinforced at this level and uh there's not too much you can put in here uh, I mean, you can do some stuff with it, but it's not important for our purposes right now. I'm going to go back to thermal expansion here. And we're going to put a specialization in here called Isometric Re Reservoir. I I'm horrible with names. Sorry, guys. And if we, we shift here, greatly increases power generation and efficiency. Cool is required to operate. So, what you want to do is you want to hook up one of your uh, aqueous accumulators again to your magma crucibles. This will greatly increase. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. See that? From eighty to three hundred twenty, just by putting this thing in here. All right. Now I do. I use the fuel catalyzer because I want the maximum amount of power I can get out of my fuels. Uh, you can use the other one if you want. It will increase the amount of power you get. So. If we spawn one of those in, uh, there we go. Get 50 more power. Um, I like the other one. I like this one. So, um, but as as a, as a note for that, you are going to be required to use some kind of coolant. I don't know if better coolant means more power, but. Um, this will be good for now. And you can run this off of lava. One bucket of lava will totally give you power out of this, all right? So, 
Um, if we don't have a bucket. That's weird. I don't know if this works. Can we do this? You know what? We're not going to get that back. <laughs> Let's try this again. No. That does not work. I mean, you can transfer out of stuff, but I don't think. Oh, shit. Nah, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> let's 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 not do that. We'll just we'll just get us a bucket. There we go. So if I put one in here and one in here, both of them set up the same way, as you can see, and they're gonna start producing power into this one right here and it's going to be 320 and it uses up 100, 100 millibuckets of lava every single time and as you can see even with this in here that went through the lava pretty quickly all right there we go and then this one over here is done too, right? It's empty, that's empty. And right here we have 331. All right, let's dump this out. There we go. Okay. Uh, we can run this off of Blazing Promethium. Now, uh, if we look up that, right here Promethium dust this is what you're going to want you look at this and if we go to uses here every Promethium dust gives you 250 buckets so four of these will give us uh, a bucket of Promethium blazing Promethium so what we're going to do is we're going to put eight in here And then we're going to set this back part here to output. And now this is going to start producing power again. Right here. This one and this one here. So. And that one's done. This one has almost. This one has almost. Now, uh, with with the way this shares, it may not give a complete bucket to each one of these, but if you notice, it's still burning. It's still burning here. It's going to give 320 RF per tick, but this is going to give you that 300 RF per tick a whole lot longer. You're going to get 2 million off of each bucket here. So it's going to be 4 million, it's going to go in here. All right, We've already surpassed the lava. so. So, if you're going to use magma crucibles, 100% you want to use blazing promethium. Now, how do you make blazing promethium? It's really, really simple. Uh, you can use any kind of pulverized coal. I think you, it used to be able to use charcoal, but I don't think that's the case anymore. It has to be some kind of pulverized coal. You have to use sulfur dust. Now, you can get sulfur dust from pulverizing any of these items here. Uh, my favorite is netherrack um, but uh, appetite is another option there uh, you can get some fertilizer you can also make nether brick from smelting soul sand and netherrack and get sulfur 25% of the time if you want to make some nether brick also if you're going with another power production method you can get sulfur from that and then use it for uh, some some more power. So, it's up to you guys. Um, anyway, so that's those two. That's done you get out of the world. And then this blaze powder here. Now, you can go and get blaze powder if we crafting. You can get it from blaze rods and blaze mesh. You can get it from bees. So, if you want to get into some bees, you can do that. But... 
if we look here at the fluid transposer, you can actually go get glowstone out of the nether and then just use destabilized redstone to get you some blaze powder. All right, so you just melt that down. It doesn't take that much for this. Look here, it's only 8,000. 72,000. You can actually, you can get these a lot and, and you can melt these down to, to some destabilized redstone. However you want to get it. And then you can just use glowstone. Now, the best thing about that is if we go back here, if you look here, there's no good way to really get blaze rods. All right, we look, drop, or a compressor. Now, what we can do here is since we can actually craft the blaze powder, we can use this recipe here. Once we get glowstone, we can duplicate that using Batania. We can actually transfer it over, but if you look here, this is the conjunction catalyst from Batania, and we can use Batania to actually duplicate glowstone. And what you do is you can auto set this up to automatically keep like a whole, uh, like like one of those two by two uh, drawers in it. You can you can set this up where it automatically keep one of those drawers full at all times. All right, and then you can just get a stack every so often and convert it over to blaze powder. What what this does is you can, you'll have blaze powder all the time, and I believe you can you can like automate that too, and it'll always keep some blaze powder in 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 there for you also. And you can then take that and go into the IC2 stuff. So if we look at this again, and we go to uses here. Industrial craft too. Okay. And you can take those and you can convert those into blaze rods. All right. And then you can keep a drawer slot full of blaze rods. All right. <laughs> so just off of Batania, you can you can uh, get that. Now you do have to get the production up and everything. All right. But this is 100% automatable, which means you can use as much of this as, as you want. All right. The only thing you'll be uh, wanting to uh, do is uh, keep a large amount of coal in stock. All right. So, let's show you guys this. And, uh, if, uh, are we done yet? We're almost done here. Almost done. And if we look in here, it's old for me. <laughs> it's old for me because we have that catalyst in there. We're getting more per use with the fuel, for, uh, fuel catalyst. And this is only re reinforced, guys. This is only reinforced. All right? We can come in here. And I'm going I'm to show you this. Uh this one right here we can switch this right now to resonate and once you get it up to resonate you'll be getting a 480 for a tick and this is going to be th this is my setup you can use the other one if you want um, let me get these out so I can show you that one this is what it'll be if you use those, 800, 840. Uh, but you will run through the uh, Blazing Prometheum. So I would I would stick with this. So uh, that covers uh, this one. Uh, the only other one I want to touch with is uh, over here, and we'll get into that. And it's really, really, this, this one is going to be a short episode. Um, I'm going to show you guys some uh, little... Uh, ways you can uh, use uh, some uh, actually additions canola oil all right anyway guys if you like this episode make sure you smack that like button if you subscribe to my channel I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out you guys can come check it out see if you like it if you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends tell me how much you like it there's a share tab down below click on the share tab copy the link post it on your Facebook Twitter wherever you do social media 
you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. I'll see you guys on the next episode.